Hi, this is our fancy new Alto camper. We're gonna give you a tour. We are very excited to have this camper. We waited 14 months for this one and um, sort of started the obsession that I now have for travel trailers. So come on inside. This is an Alto F1743 by Safari Condo. It is 17.9 feet total length, including the hitch, and has a dry weight of about 1,800 pounds. The interior height is 6.4 feet. It has a wet bath, and ours sleeps four with an extra bunk. The main bed is a queen, and the two other beds are twin-sized. The exterior has three access compartments for storage, a 12-volt and 120-volt outlet, and a wireless backup camera. It also has an outdoor shower, two propane tanks, and a bike rack. The F1743 has a 16-gallon freshwater tank, a 16-gallon gray water tank, and a 12-gallon black tank. So this is the inside of the camper. Um, there's this nice little kitchen area right here. So we've got a two-burner stove, which is good for heating up water or, you know, kind of simple cooking. There's a little sink here, um, which is really handy and then folds down so you get this nice space to work on. Um, there's lots of storage underneath, so these drawers are really great. They're very deep and uh, you can keep a lot of things in them. Uh, and then there's even this additional space here, which also has um, these pull-out shelves, which is great for storage. And there's also even more storage up here. So um, I feel like we have empty, empty bins at this point where, you know, we could pack things for longer trips if we needed to. So it's really nice to have that little bit of extra space. Back here is the main bed area. Um, this is, you know, a bed right now, but it can also be turned into sort of a lounge area or even have a table. Um, This is a super cozy space and you can really see all of these amazing windows that we get here. This one in particular is my favorite because when you wake up in the morning, you can look out and see what it's like outside, which I really love. Um, we also have this nice storage here that right now we're keeping towels in. Um, so just another place to put, put things. I think this is empty. Like there's just, you know, lots of space in here. All right, the next little space is the bathroom, which is right here. It's got, you know, bathroom stuff. There's the toilet and um, a shower curtain. So this is a what's called a wet bath, which can turn into a shower. We did opt for the little sink in the corner, which I have to say I've already really appreciated having. It even has up here a little storage cabinet so we can keep our bathroom stuff in it, which is also very nice. Okay, and then in the front part here, I mean, first of all, obviously you have this amazing big front window, which was sort of what sold us on this in the first place. Um, but you also have this cute little dinette here, which um, really seats two, but we have a little um, cooler that we're actually turning into a seat. So we have three seats here, which is handy. This also can convert down into a bed. So um, we actually have four beds in here. We haven't shown you the ultra secret bed yet, but we will show you that um, in a couple of seconds. There is also a fridge here, which uh, compared to what we had before is enormous. So this is really fantastic. We've got lots and lots of space here. In fact, we've stopped traveling with our cooler because we don't really need it for weekend trips. Uh, this is a little closet, uh, but actually holds quite a lot of stuff. We put this um, shelving unit in here 
Um, but each of us has a drawer. We've got our clothes in here and games and a bunch of other stuff. Um, so this is a really nice space as well. This is the little secret bed that Isaac sleeps on. So it folds out like this from the frame of the wall and then we have these two cushions. That turn them into a bit. So this is really nice. The reason we like this is because a, we can bring a friend and they could sleep on the dining table that turns into a bed. And also, this has a curtain here. So Isaac could go to bed before us and if it's raining or something, we could stay up and play games at the table and he can have his own little quiet, cozy corner. Hi, this is our favorite part of this camper is all these awesome windows. I think I've already said that, but it's worth saying again. So they open all the way up like this and they have these um, privacy screens and they also have bug screens. So you can really let the air in. And this is pretty handy for handing things to people. Hey, Isaac. Here you go, buddy. Thanks, mom. You're welcome, love. Altos are built to order and there are a lot of features you can add. Some of the key things we added are the porthole window on the passenger side and door with the larger window. We also added the bathroom window. In the bathroom, we added the corner sink. We added the extra bunk bed and the privacy curtain. Outside, we added an extra propane tank, which you can't see here because we took it off to connect to the outdoor cooktop. It also has the bike rack, lithium batteries, and 200 watts of solar panels on the roof. Check out our website for a blog post with more detail and features. Hope you enjoyed the tour. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel or find us on our website, outdoorsmadesimple.com.